chapter 13. On that day Jesus went out of the house and was seated by the seaside. And great numbers of people came together to him, so that he got into a boat, and the people took up their position by the sea. And he gave them teaching in the form of a story, saying, A man went out to put seed in the earth, and while he did so, some seeds were dropped by the wayside, and the birds came and took them for food, and some of the seed went among the stones, where it did not much earth, and straight away it came up because the earth was not deep, and when the sun was high, it was burned, and because it had no root it became dry and dead, and some seeds went among thorns, and the thorns came up and they had no room for growth, and some, falling on good earth, gave fruit, some a hundred, some sixty, some thirty times as much. He who has ears, let him give ear. And the disciples came and said to him, Why do you say things to them in the form of stories? And he said to them in answer, To you is given the knowledge of the secrets of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it is not given, because whoever has, to him will be given, and he will have more, but from him who has not, even what he has will be taken away. For this reason I put things into the form of stories, because they see without seeing, and give the ear without hearing, and the sense is not clear to them. And for them the words of Isaiah have come true, though you give ear, you will not get knowledge, and seeing, you will see, but the sense will not be clear to you. For the heart of this people has become fat and their ears are slow in hearing and their eyes are shut, for fear that they might see with their eyes and give hearing with their ears and become wise in their hearts and be turned again to me, so that I might make them well. But a blessing be on your eyes, because they see, and on your ears, because they are open. For truly, I say to you that prophets and upright men had a desire to see the things which you see, and saw them not and to have knowledge of the words which have come to your ears, and they had it not. Give ear, then, to the story of the man who put the seed in the earth. When the word of the kingdom comes to anyone, and the sense of it is not clear to him, then the evil one comes, and quickly takes away that which was put in his heart. He is the seed dropped by the wayside, and that which went on the stones. This is he who, hearing the word, straight away takes it with joy but having no root in himself, he goes on for a time. And when trouble comes or pain, because of the word, he quickly becomes full of doubts. And that which was dropped among the thorns, this is he who is the word, and the cares of this life, and the deceits of wealth, put a stop to the growth of the word and it gives no fruit. And the seed which was put in good earth, this is he who gives ear to the word, and gets the sense of it, who gives fruit, some a hundred, some sixty some thirty times as much. And he gave them another story, saying, The kingdom of heaven is like a man who put good seed in his field. But while men were sleeping, one who had hate for him came and put evil seeds among the grain, and went away. But when the green stem came up and gave fruit, the evil plants were seen at the same time. And the servants of the master of the house came and said to him, Sir, did you not put good seed in your field? How then has it evil plants? And he said, Someone has done this in hate. And the servants say to him, Is it your pleasure that we go and take them up? But he says, No, for fear that by chance while you take up the evil plants, you may be rooting up the grain with them. Let them come up together till the getting in of the grain, and then I will say to the workers, Take up first the evil plants, and put them together for burning but put the grain into my storehouse. He put another story before them, saying, The kingdom of heaven is like a grain of mustard seed which a man took and put in his field, which is smaller than all seeds, but when it has come up it is greater than the plants, and becomes a tree, so that the birds of heaven come and make their resting places in its branches. Another story he gave to them, The kingdom of heaven is like leaven, which a woman took, and put in three measures of meal till it was all leavened. All these things Jesus said to the people in the form of stories, and without a story he said nothing to them, that it might come true which was said by the prophet, opening my mouth, I will give out stories, I will give knowledge of things kept secret from before all time. Then he went away from the people, and went into the house, and his disciples came to him, saying, Make clear to us the story of the evil plants in the field. And he made answer and said, he who puts the good seed in the earth is the son of man, and the field is the world, and the good seed is the sons of the kingdom, 
and the evil seeds are the sons of the evil one, and he who put them in the earth is Satan, and the getting in of the grain is the end of the world, and those who get it in are the angels, as then the evil plants are got together and burned with fire, so will it be in the end of the world. The Son of Man will send out his angels, and they will take out of his kingdom everything which is a cause of error, and all those who do wrong, and will put them into the fire, there will be weeping and cries of sorrow. Then will the upright be shining as the sun in the kingdom of their father. He who has ears, let him give ear. The kingdom of heaven is like a secret store of wealth in a field, which a man came across and put back again, and in his joy he goes and gives all he has, to get that field. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a trader searching for beautiful jewels. And having come across one jewel of great price, he went and gave all he had in exchange for it. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a net, which was put into the sea and took in every sort of fish, when it was full, they took it up on the sands. And seated there they put the good into vessels, but the bad they put away. So will it be in the end of the world, the angels will came and take out the bad from the good and will put them into the fire, there will be weeping and cries of sorrow. Are all these things now clear to you? They say to him, Yes. And he said to them, For this reason every scribe who has become a disciple of the kingdom of heaven is like the owner of a house, who gives out from his store things new and old. And when Jesus had come to the end of these stories he went away from there. And coming into his country, he gave them teaching in their synagogue, so that they were greatly surprised and said, where did this man get this wisdom and these works of power? Is not this the woodworker's son? Is not his mother named Mary? And his brothers James and Joseph and Simon and Judas? And his sisters, are they not all with us? From where, then, has he all these things? And they were bitter against him. But Jesus said to them, A prophet is nowhere without honor but in his country and among his family and the works of power which he did there were small in number because they had no faith.